Hey, what's up guys? My name is Echerno and welcome to a video that will show you guys how Cherno Chat actually kind of works, okay? So you've obviously seen me make the application, but I've never run it on separate computers, on separate networks, stuff like that. So I wanted to show you guys how it's going to work. So this is pretty much my setup. No, I don't usually have these two laptops in front of me. But uh, apart from that, this is kind of what my setup looks like. That's not what the video is about. Basically, this is where I make all my, uh, all my videos. Anyway, point is, we've got Cherno Chat. We've got the server running on this desktop here. If I focus there real quick... You can see it says, now this iPhone, there you go. So it says that uh, I, I've just run the server, I basically just started the server using uh, using the, the Windows command prompt here, using uh, port 8192, you can see the command line arguments right there after the name of course of the jar file, and uh, and, and you can see there that it, su it started the server on port 8192. Now, from this computer, this is obviously the same computer where the server's running, I'm going to just pretty much log in as the name Yarn, and you can see the IP address I've entered is localhost. Um, and then the port is 8192, of course, because 8192. Now, localhost, of course, uh, refers to this specific computer because the server's running on the same computer as the client. So let's go ahead and try and connect to that and see what happens. So log in. All right, cool. So it says over here that Yarn connected over here in the server. And then in our client, it says that it's successfully connected. Fantastic. If we say something like, uh, hey... Hey, so you can see right hey there. Hit enter. You can see that it's actually going to appear on the uh, on the on the server here, and it's also going to appear in the client. Everything worked wonderfully. Great. So that's that's local kind of connection. That's pretty sure you guys already knew that. Now let's go ahead and try it on a laptop. Okay. So let's try it on this uh, on this Windows Ultrabook that I've got here. It's just a just an an, an a, a Asus Ultrabook that I've had for about uh, probably about a year and a half by now. Um, anyway, point is. There it is, right? I've called this one Ultrabook just so you guys can differentiate it from the other one. The IP address here that I've entered is the local IPv4 address of my desktop, okay? So that's the internal IP address of my uh, of my desktop because this, of course, is on the same network. They're both connected to the same router, which happens to be over here. Now, let's go ahead and try and connect. So the port, of course, is still 8192 because that's where the server's running. And, uh, and the IP address is 0.10 because that's the IP address of this desktop here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Hit the login button. See what happens. All right. So over here, after a bunch of white space, we've got uh, we've got Ultrabook connected. Okay. So there you go. We're in. Let's go ahead and it says here that we've successfully connected. Let's go ahead and say something. Hit enter and check this out. Over here on our client, we've got Ultrabook saying that. All right. If we say something on our desktop, so I'm going to type something on my desktop. All right. And I'm going to hit enter. There it is. You can see it's instant as well, no delay. Okay, that's sweet. Now over here, I've also got my Mac set up. This is actually what I use to record uh, network chat programming because I decided to do it on a Mac for no apparent reason. Um, okay, so over here I've named it Mac just because it says a Mac. Again, I'm connected to the same IP address as you can see with the port A192. I'm going to hit log in. And of course, as you might expect, successfully connected. Uh, it says over here that Mac connected. And if we say something on Mac, blah, 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 hit enter, you can see it's going to appear everywhere on every single computer. And we're now, if I say something on Ultrabook, hit enter. If I say something on, uh, on my desktop and hit enter here, then uh, it's going to appear everywhere. And you guys can basically talk like that. Now, this works throughout the internet, not just, of course, on a local network, but you, can, you guys can see that Cherno Chat really does work. And the other thing that we can test out that I completely forgot about is if we hit File, Online Users, um, you can see who's online. Okay, so we've got Yarn, Ultrabook, Mac. If I go ahead and do the same thing here, file, online users, you can see we've got Yarn, Ultrabook, Mac. And this works out of the box on Windows and Mac, by the way, because it's written in Java. I didn't have to change anything. I exported it. The exact same file that I exported runs on both systems flawlessly. So that's just, that's just Java at its finest right there. That's pretty much why Java exists. Okay, and then you can see that same case here, right? If I was to close the Ultrabook one, Right, let's go ahead and, uh, where's my mouse? There it is. If we, cl if we close this Ultrabook window here, so we disconnect, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this view on my Mac here. If I close this window on my Ultrabook, then you can see that we disconnect, and the same thing reflects here. So everything works exactly like I intended it to. Of course it works. I mean, I freaking wrote this application. But um, that's the Network Chat Programming Series. If you guys haven't checked out Chat, that's what it is. Alright, so what I've done now is I've logged into my server. This is actually the same server that runs my website, thechairman.com. And if this uh, iPhone focuses here real quick, which it's not doing, come on bro, work with me. Oh dude, seriously? Come on. Why, why, why? 
I need some manual focus on this thing. There you go. Okay, so you can see that um, basically I've got Java, jar, and then Trinity Chat Server jar, and I, you can see that that's the command I'm executing. I'm starting it on port 8192. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on that, and you can see here that it says server started on port 8192. So now the only thing I'm basically going to change is you can see on the Ultrabook here, I've got uh, I've got um, the name still Ultrabook port port is 8192, but the IP address now is the channel.com, okay? Because that's the IP address of my server. So as I hit log in here. It's going to tell me that I successfully connected, and over here on my server, it's going to tell me, because I'm connected via SSH, that Ultrabook here with that ID connected. Great, okay, so let's go ahead and do the same thing on our desktop here. So there's the, uh, there's the channel on our desktop, so yarn, the channel, com, blah, 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 um, A192, and of course, as I hit log in on that, you're going to see over here that yarn connected. Brilliant, awesome. Okay, so now all that remains is the Mac, same, the channel, com, you can see that IP address there. Um, and uh, at port 8192 because of course the DNS server resolves the channel.com to the actual IP address of my server so you can type in a string such as you know exactly like the same thing that we did with lo local host we didn't type in 127.0.0.1 we typed in local host um, and we can do the similar thing the same thing with the website if you've got a DNS server of course it resolves that now that being said let's go ahead and join here and uh, what you're going to see of course is here that it's successfully connected and over here you're going to see that Mac connected so now we've got three people here Okay, and now it's actually going through the server, so this will, I can leave this on bloody 24-7, okay, and it will still work fine. So, um, if we type in something like, I don't know, something, something like that on my desktop, I want to show you guys the Ultrabook view, hit enter, you can see it's going to appear here, it's going to appear on the server as well. Uh, this is running, um, this isn't running Windows or anything, by the way, it's running Debian, uh, Debian 6, I think, which is, of course, a distribution of Linux. So, um, but Java, you know, no problem for Java, it works fine. As long as you've got Java installed, of course, on Debian. So there you go. Um, also, uh, if I say something here, for example, let's show the Mac view. You guys can see that uh, it's going to appear here as well. And basically, I'm just showing you guys that uh, we can incoherently chat to each other through our different um, through our different systems. Okay, and that works absolutely fine. It works really, really, really fast. So you guys can probably hear when I hit enter. So this is the this is the Ultrabook. Um, I've typed something on my desktop here, as you can see, and then on, on my Ultrabook, I'm just going to go ahead, sorry, on my desktop, I'm going to hit enter, you guys will hear the clack, check how fast that is, it's like, I don't know, 200 milliseconds of ping, which is probably around the same, the same thing, because this server is located in in, uh, in Salt Lake City, I think, which is in, of course, the US, it is in Utah, so there you go, server in Utah, no problem for us, it works fine, so anyway, that is pretty much it, and of course, if I go to online users and everything, it's going to work fine, it's going to tell me who's online. If I go ahead and shut off my uh, my Ultrabook here, if I just close it, you can see that it updates and it's fine, okay? And client Ultrabook disconnected. So there you go. That is the thing. That's my IP address. I'm going to have to hide that. Um, but that, that, is the, uh, that, is the, that is the game. That is the, that's not really a game, but that is the Churn and Chat client, of course. If you guys did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. Now, in the, um, in the next, this isn't really an episode, but... Um, I'm actually going to put out a video tomorrow that will show you guys how to get it to run on your Linux server or other server. So um, be sure to st stay tuned for that, and that will also cover exporting the application. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.